far are we gonna take this star? The question is not how far. The question is, do you possess the constitution? The depth of faith to go as far as is needed. You didn't think I was going to stop with Lantern, did you? It is time for this town to get down. Let's be bad guys. Let's rock. Woo! 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 Talk hard! Booyah. I'm not a schemer. I try to show the schemers how pathetic their attempts to control things really are. We were the all singing, all dancing crap of the world. Gotta love the new logo, man. It's probably not new. Get them through in. Oh boy. Oh, oh boy. Here we go. All right. Here we go. Oh boy. Uh, Variety posted this article last week, at the end of last week. Talk about Nathan Fillion stands by Joss Whedon. I would work with him again in a second. Ouch. Nathan, Nathan, Nathan. Not, luckily, I don't think there was like, Nathan, too much Nathan, of a Nathan. Ruckus because, well, let's face it, it's just it's just kind of weird when it comes to what? Joss Whedon. No, it's, it's, like, it's yeah, not. He didn't get it yeah, just canceled as much as uh, as you as we thought he should have. So. Oh. Um, obviously, oh. about all the stuff oh. that we could do in the Justice League, everything like that. This oh. is what we had to say right here. I read, oh. I read that article, and nowhere in there at any point in time did he mention Firefly. You know what? Uh, I had, uh, I had an entire. This article that he's reading not, from. I'm gonna post the original that fucking video. He talks about, of course, funny, self-deprecating, incredibly talented, and maybe after a his dumbass video is over. And then Fillion added, "I mean, listen, by his own uh, admission that." Yeah. That guy's a work in progress, and I appreciate that. And I would work with Joss again in a in, in a second. Fuck I would yeah. Work with him again in a second. He said yeah. not once, but twice. That's right. Yeah, he did. And he was like, oh boy, what are you doing there, Nathan? What? Uh, he's Nathan? standing what up thinking? and being a man. Uh, is what the yeah, fuck he's doing, I mean, dumbass? It's gonna actually be happening again, but you know what can he do? Uh, and you know, it's always interesting when you get like these, um, you know, these actors or whatever. Coming out and basically saying like, "Well, that's not the Joss Sweden I know." It's oh, like, okay, maybe oh, you don't know. He was oh. cool to you, but apparently he wasn't cool to other people. Yes, you read the article. How many people on the Buffy set said something? You know what that means? Me? What did she say? Good what actors versus say? bad what actors, baby. What did people say? Okay, just because he was nice to you and cool to you doesn't mean. <laughs> Doesn't mean, you know, what? certain things. What? I mean, what? True. That? What? He just. That's what you gotta realize. He just like, didn't like uh, them. The why he just didn't like them. He pulled off that show for HBO. There's a reason why, basically. He's yeah, because the goddamn mob. Anything anytime soon. But I guess if Yeah, because the fucking mob that you motherfuckers created. Or um, a film, guess what? It's gonna start Nathan Fillion, probably. I don't know. But I'm like, geez, dude. Might want to uh, might want to not talk about that, but hey, what can you do? And then yeah, giving, look at this uh, piece yeah, of shit. Al, uh, Alan Tudyk also said some stuff too, but it's just like it just seems like those guys had a great experience. Understandable, but you, you want to know why? Them. Because they didn't try to start shit with him. That's why. Experiences. Okay, I mean that's, that's exactly I mean, exactly. Sure there's a lot of people that had great experiences yep. working with Kevin Spacey. Yep. Great experiences, and you know this is yep. actually true, and they would probably actually say that because obviously you saw the pictures, so many pictures and awards, and thank you, Harvey Weinstein. I mean, yeah. there's times where that's the case, too, where you know who a lot else? Of people have had great experiences with that fucking Jabba the Hutt slop. Yeah, you know, but at the same including time, Kevin Smith, face it, not Oprah a Winfrey. Person. Not a good person, so... You know, Matt Damon, the word when Bad Affleck, what's up? But anyways, I thought this Nathan Fillion gif was fitting. Okay, that's all he's got. Four fucking minutes, right? Why? Because he's got to get in and out in a hurry, right? All right, I'm going to go on a little bit of a rant here on him because, uh, I don't know. 
Probably because his video wasn't fucking 20 minutes long like fucking Lance. But here's the thing. I'm going to show you the video that the article was fucking based off of, and uh, we'll go from there. Serenity and Firefly, if we're talking about reboots, would you do what you do? You've been asked a million times, but would, would you do that? Well, why wouldn't I do that? It was one of the best things that ever happened to me. Now, let me ask you, because I've read an article or something that says, you know, this was the best acting job I've ever had. I think that was for Firefly. Or maybe yes. Serenity and Fire yes. At the time. Yeah. Right? Yes. Yes. My question is, <laughs> you could just divert if you want. What if they do these projects without Joss Whedon? Oh, that'd be heartbreaking. See, this one is like Yeah, those are those are his. How can you? How, how can you? Because of all the controversy. I've seen this fucking there. argument in the boys' fucking what comment sections. Would you rather not speak for months, years? Um, I just wonder. Correct me. Uh, listen, I I read that article. Yes. Um, and nowhere in there at any point in time did he mention. Firefly. <laughs> That's a nice dodge. I, That's a nice know, I, fucking dodge. I, I had an entirely... That was not my experience with that man. Thank you! What was your experience? Thank you! Funny. Self-deprecating. Incredibly talented. <laughs> Maybe a little haunted. I mean... Right. There's a bite. He's an admission that guy's a work in progress, and I appreciate that. Um... How many of you motherfuckers out there ain't haunted by something, huh? Ain't got a demon. Yeah. Throw the first fucking stone, motherfucker. So, yeah. There you go. I've heard the argument that, uh, oh, well, Joss Whedon never treated the people that he thought was important, right? Like, the people that he needed. He treated them with respect. That's bullshit. Because Buffy the fucking vampire... Vampire fucking slacker herself. Sarah Michelle Geller is the first fucking cunt that came out about Joss Whedon. Why? Because she wanted to make her own fucking decisions on the story of her fucking character in the show that he goddamn created and she fucking played a part of. Alright? That's how all this fucking started. Get your fucking heads out of your asses and do what fucking Snyder told you to. Wake the I'm like, wake the fuck up. It's Jesus Christ. Look, junkie. I gotta say, for one, the mustache is not doing you, man. Two, I respect what you've done. Okay? You have talked to fucking directors of movies that I fucking love, or, you know, maybe not love, but they've been, you know, fucking pretty cool. And, you know. Which, honestly, I haven't seen on your videos. You may have talked to fucking John Wick directors for all I know. Which, you probably did. And now I look like a fucking ass. But, hey. Why? Because I'm not stalking your fucking channel. Alright? <laughs> this popped up in another fucking search just like goddamn Lantern shit did last week. Alright? And, look. If you were gonna do this fucking video about the whole fucking thing, don't fucking clip from an article that somebody took from a video that's already accessible to you, all right? Go to the fucking source, all right? I thought that was your thing, right? Aren't you the fucking source on the Zack Snyder fucking universe, right? None of y'all fucking care about thinking about a goddamn thing. All you want to fucking do is fucking side up with somebody who was on Zack Snyder's side at one time, right? Who the fuck knows what Zack Snyder fucking thinks about fucking Ray Fisher now? Has anybody asked him? Like, to his face, like, personally? Like, look, dude. This isn't going on record, all right? You don't have to fucking placate or showman or anything to anybody, right? Just between you and me, all right? What's your opinion on Fisher now, dude? <laughs> What would he say now? Why? I think we all know. Because Fisher is the reason we didn't get the fucking Snyderverse. You dumb fucks. I've already said this in I don't know how many fucking videos I've done before. All right? Ray Fisher destroyed the fucking Snyderverse. And you know what his fucking followers say? 
The same motherfuckers who retweet fucking restore the Snyderverse every fucking day? Oh. Well then, it needed to be torn down. <laughs> Choose a fucking lane, man. Choose a fucking lane. All right? <laughs> so, yeah. There you go. There you go. Look. That is not the man that I work with. All right? You want to know why? Because he didn't provoke his ass. That's why. Let's paint a picture. <sighs> Who do we know? Who do we know that can fucking get shit cut down? Huh? Who? What was that guy that did the fucking Ultron movie? Oh, yeah. The studio had, like, fucking 30 fucking different things that they wanted him to do, you know, in addition to his own fucking story. And so, yeah. And then he, like, burnt out and even uh, made fun of this fucking same studio on the same commentary of the same movie. Right? <laughs> you know? And nobody thought we would see or hear from fucking Joss Whedon again. He's like, man, I, come on, man. I don't want to fuck with that. And I'm like, dude. Dude. We will give you whatever the fuck you want if you fucking do this. All right? Whatever I want, man, whatever the fuck you want. So you know what I can do. I can fucking throw up some extra monkeys in the wrench, have you? Maybe. It's like, maybe, if I make this motherfucker bad enough, <laughs> make it good enough for the studios, but the fans fucking reject it, we'll actually get to see Snyder's fucking version. Right? And yeah, that's a fucking fantasy. Look, I don't hate fucking Film Junkie. Alright? I really don't. I don't hate fucking Lantern. I don't hate Chris Wong or Film Gob or any of them. Alright? Why? Because we all had the same fucking vision in common at once. Right? And once we got that fucking vision... <laughs> We all just fucking flipped out on our own separate little fishy fucking out of water pass where you're just flopping around on the goddamn beach like blah, 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 blah. I had more faith in you. I really did. Like, ugh. I, all of you. I don't know. I mean, I don't know what happened. Right? Like, but you know what? I have a damn good idea what happened to Film God and Film Junkie and Lantern and the comic movie Marks and Chris Wong and every fucking body else who put their heart and soul into the fucking Snyder Cut movement. I never got on the fuck. I mean, I never put myself on video until it was a Snyder Cut movement thing. Like, hey, uh, Warner Brothers, give us a fucking Snyder. Give me your money, bitch. Tom Movie Marks was kind of my fucking, my way in, you know? Drunk one night, looking for a commentary on BVS. Plain and simple. These motherfuckers not only gave me a great commentary, but they fucked up halfway through and tripped over the goddamn audio cord. And I was like, this is my people. And from there, I discovered Film Junkie and Lantern and Wong and fucking Gob and Garza. I fucking forgot all about Garza. And whatever fuck his partner's name is. But, you know what? I mean, I don't know. All these other people around comic movie marks thought they were better than the fucking comic movie marks. Straight up right there. That's where my brakes fucking pumped right there. Right? They didn't say nothing. They never said nothing against the fucking comic movie marks. Right? What did they... What did they say, though? Anybody? Anybody? Jose! Come on, man. I know you've fucking seen it before. I saw it. I saw it straight up. Man, look. The best fucking proof 
if you ever want to fucking see it, is on Film Junkie's own vodka stream where Zack Snyder fucking came on. What happened in that fucking stream? Huh? Fucking Garza hogged and whored the shit out of that goddamn motherfucking stream. What? Huh? Fucking Comic Movie Mark's got, what, one, two questions in? Poor Chris. That motherfucker. Did Chris even say anything the whole goddamn stream, or was he just happy to be there? It's like, oh my god. And you know what? I think that stream broke a lot of people in different ways. Right? Like you had the haters who saw it. And I'll be honest, first time I saw it, I was like, this, somebody photoshopped this shit, right? It's like, like somebody tweeted it. I think it was Comic Movie Marks. And I was like, that's not real. <laughs> it wasn't until after it was over that I was like, holy shit, that's real. You know? I was like, and then I was like, oh, cool. You know, good for you. You know, awesome. Thank you. You know, but then I watched it and I saw how I fucking hogged the goddamn conversation. And look, I even felt bad for fucking Film Junkie on that one. I'll say that. I know I'm talking shit about him on this fucking video he just made. But look, back in the day, Film Junkie was the shit. All right? Before he was a goddamn shill and, you know... Sucking dick, fucking goddamn, get everybody's fucking attention and shit, and get views, so he can make more money to donate. How much money have you donated, motherfucker? Well, pff, I don't know. Let's compare somebody with fifty thousand views to fucking goddamn twenty. I don't know. How much money do you think I came up with? <laughs> I tell you what, I can fucking add it up for you if you want to, because I bought almost every fucking piece of merchandise all right this one i wore one on the last one i didn't want to wear one for this one just because well for one it's fucking hot in this goddamn house it's summertime all right and man look zack snyder you live in california where the temperature's not that all bad what have you but uh yeah here you know we need some lighter fucking materials right, to get through the day yeah, sometimes you know, y'all fucking hog the goddamn attention. It's like, it's all y'all care about. That's all y'all care about. Lantern is one of y'all. That's why I'm making these videos. It's like, remember back when YouTube used to be fucking fun? You wanna know why? It's because people were uploading them for fucking fun. They weren't uploading them for fucking money. Now it's a goddamn business, right? <laughs> That's all anybody thinks of. It's like, I feel like an alien on YouTube because, I don't know, it's like I don't speak the language, right? The language is views. Like, that's how you speak in YouTube. And pff, Film Junkie caught on to that. I mean, I caught on to that. I knew what the fucking game was before I even made the first fucking video. That's why I didn't want to make fucking videos, right? It's like, look, I already know. You know? <laughs> I mean, I already know. I already know the bullshit you gotta fucking do. I already know the soul deprivation you gotta sink to to make your shit fucking get out there like you want to. Like, if you really, if you're fucking dedicated, if you're fucking dedicated to fucking making your channel that number one motherfucking channel so that you never have to work another day in your life for those fucking cable fucking company motherfuckers, all right? Then, yeah, I will do whatever it fucking takes, right? But, I don't know, maybe I just... Man, I just can't do it. I just can't. I can't. All right, I've already had jobs in salesman positions on... Hey, I, I had a fucking job at a goddamn uh, uh, e-call. Yeah, e-call centers. Uh, I worked there for like two and a half weeks. And, man, I was awesome in that first week because I was in training, you know? <laughs> you know? But, I don't know. It's like you discover, hey, we're selling cable to, to old people 
in fucking nursing homes who don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. You just tell them, hey, you want this, da 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 and they fucking sign up. You're like, okay. And, yeah, they're just, ugh. They're just, like, the most deplorable kind of person to me, you know? And, you know, it's sad to see that YouTube has become that. It's nothing but just a fucking horde of motherfuckers who don't care about shit but views and clicks and that's just not the way I want to see the world you know I mean that's why I don't monetize any of my shit right well that and I'm always using shit that's getting claimed anyway but <laughs> if I wanted to I could make a goddamn video that made money but I'm just not willing to jump through the hoops, man. Yeah. So, yeah. Let's get back to this. And fucking junkie. All right, look. I can go on and on and on, and I'm not. But I will say this. Junkie, I don't know, doesn't have a high opinion of people like me in the first place. All right. Uh, people in poor, dirty houses with expensive TVs in them is a bad thing for Junkie, apparently. <laughs> I mean, hey, hit me, up, hit me up in the comments if you really want to fucking see this shit. I'll go find it. It's not too hard because it's like back from the time when I used to watch him. You know what I mean? So, back when he was him and Wong and God and everybody were still fucking cool. You know? before they fucking flip the fuck oh my god look i checked out a couple of fucking junkie videos before i started this one like recent ones like i checked out his uh comic-con <laughs> reaction man this dude looks like and i feel bad for him i really do i really do dude because you look like you are in such a fucking hurry to get out of the fucking room Right? Like, you just do not want to be there. You even said the shit for She-Hulk. Yeah, you're doing Marvel Tubby fucking reviews to trying to make a career out of this. Even though you're going against the principles that got you started on it in the first place. But that's between you and and, your, and you when you try to sleep. <laughs> that's you, dude. I don't know. It's like, it, it's it's got to be so free to not give a fuck about anything and everything, right? Like me, yeah, I don't give a fuck about a lot of shit. But I've got a line, you know? So I went back and watched, like, a couple of fucking his videos before I watched it. One of them was She-Hulk, and uh, I watched the Shazam trailer. Uh, I didn't watch the Black Adam trailer yet. I'm curious to know if he's gonna fucking do a Henry Cavill didn't show up fucking video. Like, I know that was that was a huge rumor on a bunch of other bigger, bigger channels on YouTube. Uh, but no, I don't know. He hasn't mentioned it as far as I can. And I don't know. I didn't go too far back. I kind of just flashed back until I could find the video I was looking for, which actually was a lot of videos. He does a lot of videos. But, check it out. He only does these little few minute fucking videos. Look at him. He's fucking standing up, bouncing around. He can't wait to fucking get off the phone with you. It's like, you're the fucking, you're the fucking ugly bitch that will not stop fucking calling him. You know? Ugh, I have gone on a fucking too long I got in the so here's my opinion on what happened on the fucking Justice League set after Zack Snyder was forced to leave. I'll take that back. He wasn't taken off the set. They were already done with all that. The movie was fucking done. Right. But whenever they were in post, and he had to leave, right? The studio took advantage of that shit. Like studios will. Watch Blake Edwards SOB. I got a fucking edit of it on my fucking YouTube thing. It's my biggest video, actually. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. They took advantage of that. And they're like, alright, look. 
we gotta fucking cut this shit down. We gotta change it up. We gotta make this fucking look more Marvel. Who do we call? The Marvel guy. Whedon. He did the fucking last two goddamn Avenger movies. Of course they're gonna fucking want to get him in. Did they ever think they were gonna get him? Hell no. Or. <laughs> they were like, I know exactly who to call. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know the details on that. That's not my business. My point is, once he got on the set, these people already made a fucking movie, all right? They already put the fucking blood, sweat, and tears into it to get it done, all right? Now, all of a sudden, the fucking studio is calling them and saying, hey, you need to come back and make another movie, and we're not going to pay you anything extra. You got to fucking do this. This is in your contract. And they're like, are you fucking serious? And then they get there, and Joss Whedon tells him what the fuck he's going to do. All right. Which, in his defense, four-hour movie, he had to cut down to fucking two hours. All right. And to do that, you can't just fucking chop shit. All right, yeah. You have to fucking bridge some shit. All right. Now, I'm not agreeing with the fucking bridges he made on all of them. Now, look, there are some better shit. I like I like some shit in fucking uh, the, the Whedon cut than I did the Snyder cut. I'll openly, I've been openly admitting that since the fucking first time I goddamn watched the goddamn movie on my channel. Go back and watch my fucking shit. It's like, not only do they find out they got to fucking come back to work, but now they're not going to get, and they're not going to get paid extra for it. But now... They've got to fucking degrade the shit they just spent months fucking putting together. Oh, hell no. Fuck this. But see, that's what separates the men from the boys in the Hollywood world. You got professional and you got emotional. All right? And Fisher is the most non-professional motherfucker and actor I've ever heard of on a set. Other than Sarah Michelle Gellar. <laughs> so you got all these people getting called back into work and not getting paid extra for, and now they gotta degrade the work they put fucking months of their fucking life into, right? Yeah, they're all gonna have fucking shitty fucking attitudes, right? Now, here's and you know what? Whedon didn't even want to fucking be there. He did not want to fucking do this. All right? So he's in a shitty mood. Right? So now everybody's in a shitty fucking mood. All right? And you show up first day. What the fuck happens? All right, people. This is what we're going to do. I know you don't like it. I don't like it. But I tried. All right? Let's do it. All right. And then you got the other POV where it's like, hey, motherfucker, I don't give a fuck what you say. I don't give a fuck what you're going to do or what you want to do. I am not doing any of it. I already did this shit. I ain't doing it again until you give me some more fucking money. Right? And shit got heated after that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what the fuck did Ray Fisher fucking say to Joss Whedon to piss him off because hey and Joss Whedon's fucking POV of the whole situation in his article they were rude I have never in all the years of commentaries and interviews I have never heard Joss Whedon call anybody rude so for Joss Whedon to refer to somebody as rude? Man, I can, I don't even know what Ray Fisher or anybody else said to him. Like, can you imagine what they had to have said to that motherfucker to make, to fucking give him that goddamn response? You know what I mean? But no, Ray Fisher's God!
God. We can't argue with him. I swear, man. I don't know who's worse. You or fucking Lantern side. That's just it. You've only got the two crazy fucking sides. All right? It's like you have nobody making, like, content, I guess, that fucking dives into the fucking middle of it. And you know what? I wish the comic movie marks would come back. All right? <laughs> we need y'all, bro. We miss y'all, bro. We need a comic movie marks channel back again. All right? I can't fucking sustain your fucking crowd. Nobody fucking wants to fucking hear what I got to say, so... I'm just here to fucking champion you, motherfuckers. <laughs> Come on back. Come on, man. We miss you. Bring it on back. We need... Dude. 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 We need you. Alright. Please. Come back. We need you so fucking bad. You don't even fucking know. And I'll fucking... You know what? I think that's gonna be my next weekend's fucking uh, reaction video. And it's not even gonna be a bad one. I'm gonna fucking take a break. Like three times in. And I'm just going to watch an old school comic movie marks video that I haven't watched before and do a first reaction on it. And it's going to make us all feel so much better. <laughs> God, we miss y'all, man. God, we all miss y'all, dude. We all miss you so fucking much. Comic movie marks. I know you're not in all this anymore, but man... God damn, you have a whole shitload of people who wish you were. Just saying. Let me see. Come back, please. Alright. Why? Because we need somebody to put fucking film junkie and lantern in goddamn their place. Oh my god. Look, I can't hate on junkie. I'm not hating on junkie. I mean, he's just doing what he's doing to make for himself he's trying to make his own way he's trying to get money and be popular and famous and rich and all that blah 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 and it's got to rip his ass that you know he's not <laughs> I mean, I'm sure he's making money and he's sort of famous but he's not like really famous you know <laughs> like he doesn't get Friday Night Tights fucking numbers you know <laughs> and Lantern oh my god that dude's I don't know. Honestly, I think he's buying all his fucking views. <laughs> I think they're all bots. He got really pissy about it when I brought it up. I'll be honest with you. Here's how me and Lantern fell out. Niggas always talking about fucking wanting to hate on fucking Snyder and Snyder's fucking followers and yada, yada, yada. And so somebody else who's like totally removed from the Snyder cut, but he's you know been around for years on... YouTube and in the fucking circuit told me about fucking buying views and shit. And I'm like, holy shit, you can do that? And he's like, yeah, it's not even that expensive. It's like five bucks for like a thousand views, you know? It's like, holy shit, you know? That's, you know, that, that's an eye opener, you know? And so I went to learn about it and I was like, dude, check this out. You know what I found out? And I told him, five bucks, thousand views, da da da. And Lantern started flipping out. He was like, whoa, 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 whoa. He was like, well, you can get banned for that. And so, and then, I don't know, after that, I was like, well, look. If you really want to fucking go after your fucking so-called fucking nemesis, 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 whatever that fucking word is in plural, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's like fucking go after them. I'll fucking, I ain't gonna fucking lie to you. I go for balls, bro. Street fight, street fight. Look, you want to take out somebody, fucking go for them and be like, look, make these motherfuckers prove that they didn't fucking get their fuck. they didn't buy their fucking views, right? I mean, I didn't put it in that articulate of a manner. I may have said some other dumb shit. Like, hey, you dumb fuck. I thought your bitch ass wanted to fucking, like, fucking hurt people, you know what I mean? I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm a rough talker, all right? 
Tough love, motherfucker. Anyway, but yeah. All of a sudden, he comes back at me about how, oh, I'm a Nazi. And how he's always felt sorry for me. And he just wanted me to get views. And the, the, the. Anyway, he blocked me before I could even fucking respond. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, the first response I've had from him is in his comment section on the dumbass video I did a reaction to last week. <laughs> so, really, yeah, I kind of played him, I guess. <laughs> okay. So, to wrap this up, Nathan Fillion. <laughs> I guess, to put it in your terms, is has more YouTuber in his little fucking pinky than you have in your whole fucking body. Alright? <laughs> Nathan Fillion is a goddamn actor and a beloved actor at that. And you want to go after that motherfucker? Because what? Because Ray Fisher said some shit? You need to get your goddamn priorities straight, dude. Seriously. You need to get fucking Ray Fisher in a room by himself and start asking some fucking questions if you fucking have any balls to you at all. You and every other fucking Ray Fisher fucking supporter out there. Talk to this motherfucker. And you know what? If you are behind his fucking bullshit goddamn agenda... Fuck you.